In today's Health Watch, synthetic body parts. Sounds like science fiction, but growing human tissue for transplants is now a reality. This is some wild stuff. A medical professor in England actually found a way to do it. CBS News correspondent Mark Phillips visited him in his laboratory. In a hospital lab overlooking today's London, they're working on tomorrow's medicine. And you could forgive yourself for thinking you'd stumbled onto a film set for a remake of Frankenstein, complete with human body parts and bubbling vats, noses, ears, a windpipe or trachea. And in the role of Frankenstein himself, Dr. Alex Cephalian, who has developed a breakthrough technique for manufacturing replacement organs, a special plastic with the potential to change the transplant landscape. So an actual living windpipe grows in that jar. Exactly. So that's what was transplanted. There has only been one actual transplant so far of what's called a wholly tissue-engineered synthetic windpipe. It was done at a Swedish hospital in June. The recipient, a man from Eritrea who had previously been diagnosed with an operable throat cancer and who is now recovering well. They soon discharged me and then I was feeling okay. You know, I was feeling hope for the future. The technique involves making a glass mock-up of the diseased body part and then coating it in a new type of polymer, a rubbery type substance developed in this lab. It's a plastic. Plastic, yeah. But, but a special kind of plastic. A special kind of plastic. A plastic with microscopic pores onto which stem cells taken from the patient can attach and grow. Chemicals in the red liquid growth medium determine that the stem cells grow into the required type of tissue, in this case, a kind of cartilage. So basically, you're, you're providing, you, say, you call it a scaffold, but a kind of foundation or a form mm. around which the patient's own cells okay. then regrow the diseased body part. They call it remodel itself. Remodel you know? itself. Yes, the cell remodel itself and become patient owned. And because the cells are the patient's own, they are not rejected by the body's immune system, the usual problem with transplants. And the trachea, Dr. Stefalian says, may be just the beginning. The heart is possible, but more complex organ like lung and brain, and those are more complex to build. Mm. But liver is possible. Already, the lab is growing blood vessels to be used in heart bypass surgery. The Frankenstein label is one Dr. Cephalian has heard before. Do you think of yourself in, in a kind of Frankensteinian sort of sort No, of definitely not. You know, we're not making human or we're not making things. We're just making a spare part, human spare part. You know, it's just simple. But it's a know. start. <laughs> yeah. This might well be the start of a whole new medical industry. While the technique is not yet approved in the United States, Dr. Cephalian's lab is already getting body part orders from other countries around the world. Mark Phillips, CBS News, London.